I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. I am supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Do you have any whiskey? Are you sure you have not seen anyone? <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. Wake up, sir. I have to go. Sleep well. Wrestle Trail to Thimbleweed Park, 1.7 miles. I wonder how I can turn off the light to let them know I'm here. Must be something around here that can help. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. completed step three of the note. Now for step four. So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes, sit back and learn, and I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. 
But I found a card. Possibly a key card from a hotel. It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. Hmm, there's no film in the camera. I think we better take a photo of that body before it pixelates any further. It's an instant camera, but there's no film. It's a hotel key card from the dead man. The trail ends here, at this huge rock wall. There appears to be a small hole in the back of the head. Origins unknown. The hole in the victim's head doesn't look like a gunshot, more like a puncture from a sharp object. Which is odd, because the opening title sequence clearly showed a gunshot with accompanying sound effect. Oh, I love carrying stuff. Smile! Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff.
It's an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads, the good parts. It's an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads, the good parts. Still has that fishy tuna head smell it's famous for. It's a trail down to the railroad trestle. Behind jaggy lines for mucus phlegm games? I don't get it. Who'd ever let a game be named that? Behind jaggy lines from mucus phlegm games? I don't get it. Who'd ever let a game be named that? It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Hmm, pretty good makeup though. Signals are very strong tonight. What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that, but what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night, deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. You almost ran over a federal agent. That is a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? It's in the cadet training manual. We don't know anything about a dead body, but the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there! Why brothers if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons. And he was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. <laughs> that was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts-style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. That seems like a sensible approach to adventure game design. It is. It just takes a little longer and requires more thought and planning. But it really pays off in the end. Nice chatting with you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you, too. Squee! I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. I don't see anything up ahead. I think the town must be in the other direction. It's a trail down to the railroad trestle. Whack! Squeeze! Whack! Beep! Boop! Woo! Squee! No time to talk. We need to figure out the signals. You seemed really determined. I'm sure you'll figure it out. No time to talk. We need to figure out the signals. Two minds like yours should be able to figure it out. Boop. What? No time to talk. 
We need to figure out the signals. Are you going to do this all night? Whack! No time to talk. We need to figure out the signals. Nuts. I could really go for some salted nuts right about now. Click, click, click. No time to talk. We need to figure out the signals. Okay. I've got a murder to solve anyway. Click, click, click. Ooh. Click, click, click. Ooh. Beep. It's a plumbing van driven by big pigeons. Boop. Beep. No need. The perps are outside. We should go find the sheriff. Wait up, eager beaver. Thimbleweed Park. Nice name for a town. It's dark, but I can see there's nothing in there. It's dark, but I can see there's nothing in there. Willie's Watch and Violin Repair Shop. Willie's Watch and Violin Repair Shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We repair watches and violins for the rich or famous. Closed. Looks like they cleared out in a hurry. I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. That's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> Damn straight, we're the Feds. Whoa! Hold your horse, Arenos. No need to get snippy. Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, huh? There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at 8. I hope he's talking about on TV. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Arenos do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people Arenos? The inscription says, Pillotronics, the brain of our city. Look, 
Howdy-ho, I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future, who? Oh, these are the latest in crime-fighting computers made by Pillowtronics, Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. Ooh, I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain, who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in, and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Areno, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match of who. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Or, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Areno? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Aren't you the Sheriff Areno? Oh, my, no. Ha <laughs> ha, no, 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 who? Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes. But we're as different as peas a who's in a pot a who. Plus, the sheriff has that annoying areno he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that a who. Sure, whatever. Did you use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pillowtronics and the fire? Whoa, now! Pillowtronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer and pillow genius. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. No, he's just curious. He's a pillow factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. 
This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> uh, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, who? Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. It's empty. It's empty. There's a fingerprint kit here. I don't want to pick that up. It's empty. It's empty. It's empty. There's a fingerprint brush, a small amount of fingerprint powder, but it's missing the fingerprint tape. It's a medical skeleton. Please return to Dr. Fred. Chewy Caramel Center. Ugh. Four thirty two million nine hundred and twenty one thousand and fifty six eight point one eight five three five two seven seven two calculate eight calculate eight calculate eight calculate eight calculate eight calculate eight five no, wait, seven. The primary function of the blood drawn 3000, trademark, patent pending, is to analyze a blood sample and a bloody object to ensure arrest of a suspect. Procure a slob or other absorbent material and dab some blood on it. Insert a blood sample taken from a body along with a bloody object and I, I mean the blood drawn 3000, trademark, will confirm a positive match. Locked off.
Yes. One, a robot may not enter a human being or, through an action, allow a human being to come to harm. Two, a robot must obey the orders given it by human beings except where such orders would conflict with the first law. Three, a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second laws. Four, party light like it's 1999. It should be. The primary function of the Fingertron 3000 trademark is to analyze a fingerprint and find a match in the registry of known criminals and produce a report for the arrest on 3000 trademark patent pending. It's around here somewhere. I'm not going to solve this whole crime for you. You're probably the kind of person that uses a hint guide, aren't you? Entering hibernation state. One thousand and seventeen miles. The average distance from the Earth to the Sun is 93,000 miles. At its closest orbit, the Sun is 91.4 million miles from the Earth. The Andromeda Galaxy is around 2 million light years away. The primary function of the Phase Tron 3000 trademark is to analyze a photograph of a dead body and compare it with an official photographic ID to provide a positive identification of the victim. The Phase Tron 3000 trademark requires official government identification that contains a photograph of the victim. Sure, whatever. Lots of medical books there. Lots of medical books there. No, I don't want to pick that up. It's a pretty big vacuum tube. I need to stay focused and solve this mur- Hello again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully the coroner fills you in on our state-of-the-art Areno computers. That's some very serious computing power you've got there. Yes, sir, Reno. It's all state-of-the-art computer Renos from Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. You're also the coroner, right? Oh, my, no. <laughs> no, 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 Reno. People say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas Renos in a pot Reno. Plus, the coroner has that annoying ahoo he adds to everything. <laughs> You'll never hear me doing that, Areno. You, I mean, the coroner said something about the Arrestron? Yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction Areno. Every detail of Reno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Right. Uh, sorry, Reno. I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy of Reno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Reno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer of Reno. 
Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Who is this Chuck we keep hearing about? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, Reno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Reno again. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. Life must be understood backward, but it must be lived forward. So rent your ticket. There has to be something. B.K. Rundle. God is not willing to do everything, but just take away our free will and that share of glory which belongs to us. Nicole Machiavelli. If God did not exist, it would be necessary to invent him. Voltaire. Others go astray in cases where they think they have the most perfect knowledge. Descartes. No man's knowledge here could go beyond his experience. John Locke. The arrest run 3000 trademark as primary function is to take reports from the blood run 3000 trademark. The finger drawn 3000 trademark, and the face drawn 3000 trademark, and issue an arrest warrant for the obviously guilty suspect. After the arrest drawn 3000 trademark generates the arrest warrant, this compact criminal is arrested, jailed, and toils away making license plates with little chance of release. The job of the detective, agent, or law enforcement personnel is done. The blood drawn 3000 trademark, the finger drawn 3000 trademark, and the face drawn 3000 trademark could be found in the coroners of other drawn machines, the product of the amazing genius Chuck Hedlund. Close program. Just a bunch of files. There's a fingerprint book here. Just a bunch of files. This has fingerprints for everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Certified Fingertron 3000 compatible. Standard city issued desk, but with no draw. The desk has no drawers. Wanted. Pickle Bill and the Cucumber Gang. Wanted. Huh? A meteor? Wanted. Shady Jane and the Sunshine Gang. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files.
No time to talk. We have to fix this... slight leak. Can I do anything to help? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. Don't touch our Wrenchtron 3000. Only someone like me with the proper training can handle it. It says, after 34 years of serving the tri Thimbleweed County area, we had to close our doors. We should have listened to Chalk. Transistors are a dead end path. Tubes are the future. Thank you, our loyal customers. The doors are locked and nobody's inside. Looks pretty dark. Thimblecon 87. It's opening later tonight at the hotel. Welcome to the S&D Diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So, what can I do for you, honey? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. Don't screw with the feds. Tell us what you know. Okay, honey. But you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clap. business card.
Nothing inside. I only use it for popcorn anyway. Empty, but clean. Fridge assistant hasn't replenished my supply. No time for a cold one anyway. It's an IOU. I, Carney Joe, loan ransom the clown $1,000 and will hold his joke book hostage until I gets paid. Meanest clown of 1977 and 1978. Ransom, my hair is all frizzy and I'm not wearing my special ransom clown makeup. I can't go on like this. Get your together, clown. My housekeeper does a pretty good job of keeping this place clean. Ransom, I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. I don't want your autograph. Okay, 50 then. I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen, and your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did you get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. Toddlers start out as It's not my fault they end up that way. Okay, fine. 25 bucks. I should have been a dentist. You! Ransom the Clown swear jar with 138 bucks in it. My contract states that I'm the only one who's allowed to swear. And I just take the big bucks. There's nothing in it except the list. I don't want to pick that up. It must be that other clown's hat. I don't do hats. I don't wear f hats. Ooh, my cloud fro looks great now. It's my special custom-made clown makeup. I am tired of putting it on every night. Sure is. Now there's the face I love. I'm not a wannabe pirate. You'll never get me to climb into one of those. No waiting, take a shot. You got my money, Clowny? That's Ransom the Clown, asswipe. Okay, you got my money, Ransom the Asswipe Clown? One thousand clams or you're not getting your joke book back. Eh, serves you right for playing the duckies. I have your money. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, here's your money. Now where's my junk buck? Uh, wait, are you messing with me? That's only 138 bucks in interest. Where's the grand you owe me? Yeah, uh, thought you'd settle for less. Uh, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, yeah? 
Well, I choose to hang on to your joke book till I get the full 1138 bucks. Now, beggar off. Win big today. Ah, step right up. You got my money, Ransom the asswipe clown? I need my joke book. The crowd's waiting for me. I told you before, you ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you loan shark. You are putting the squeeze on me. Not my problem. So, uh, how's the old ball and chain of kids, huh? My wife's doing fine, no thanks to you. And so are the 11 kids. But they still cries themselves to sleep every night after that stare you gave them. How many kids do you say you have? I have 11 kids, why? Oh, uh, nothing. Give me my joke book, face. I told you before. You ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. I don't know, Ransom, the Where the f is my joke? I told you before. Plus, where the f I don't know. You are my I guarantee to hit. Try your skill. It's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Must be a huge crowd in the big top. I don't want to pick that up. It's an IOU. Ransom the f clown lost a thousand dollars to me, Carney Joe, and I will hold his joke book hostage until I get paid. I can't walk in through the main entrance like a tuna-headed pleb. I'm Ransom the Clown. I need to make my big stage entrance. I don't have time to leave the circus. I have to get ready for my act. My trailer's back there. Very cozy. My maid changed the sheets today. No time for a nap. I have to go on stage. No time for a nap. I have to go on stage. No time for a nap. I have to go on stage. It's a prototype Ransom the Clown doll. It's a perfect likeness of me. Well, maybe the nose is a... He's happy where he is, aren't you, little Ransom? Look marvelous. Ready to knock him dead. What? You think this is Alice in Wonderland? I glued him to the table so no one can steal him. It's exactly 138 bucks in unmarked bills. It's my empty Ransom the Clown swear jar. My contract states that I'm the only one who's allowed to swear. Anyone else caught swearing has... It must be that other clown's hat. I don't do hats. I can't go on stage without my joke book. I might forget my best lines without it.
big today. Step right this way. We got prizes. You got my money, ransom the ass white clown. Step right this way. Shoot the bunny. Lots of prizes. Yeah, shoot the pussy cat. Win big today. Come on over! It's my lawyer's business card. Brent Bailiwick KD. Legal problems? We'll screw them for you. I'm in the phone book. I don't think suing him's gonna help. Let's step right up! Grand prize if you can shoot the hair off, Ransom the Clown! Try your skill! It's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Must be a huge crowd in the big top. I don't want to pick that up. Hey, it's not my job to push popcorn stands around. Hey, it's not my job to push popcorn stands around. Against clown union rules. I can't walk in through the main entrance like a tuna-headed pleb. I'm Ransom the Clown. I need to make my big stage entrance. It's an IOU. Ransom the f clown lost a thousand dollars to me, Carney Joe, and I will hold his joke book hostage until I get paid. No waiting, take a shot. You got my money, ransom the ass white clown. How many kids do you say you have? I have 11 kids, why? Oh, uh, nothing.
you, I'm out of here. I can't walk in through the main entrance like a tuna-headed pleb. I'm Ransom the Clown. I need to make my big stage entrance. It's already closed. 